What's going on guys and welcome back to Retro Tech. Today we're taking a look at what is probably the first computer that I'd ever owned. Uh, sort of a pre-computer I guess you could say, as suggested by the title. It is a VTech Pre-Computer 1000. This is an educational computer that was released I think originally around 1988 and this one says copyright 1992 so this one was obviously a bit later so I guess they made this model for quite a while. Uh, but this is something that I have a lot of memories of as a kid. It's something I brought along with me on car trips and things like that. And we used to do the various trivia applications on here, which was a lot of fun. It is very much an educational computer. It has things like history and geography, science, math, and all that stuff. It has some other stuff as well, including like typing course. Uh, there's a games thing, which I'm not exactly sure. I don't remember what that included, um, but we'll look at it later. Uh, there's also a calculator, woo, <laughs> and a cartridge slot on the side for adding more applications. I never actually owned any of the cartridges, uh, but I guess they added more trivia stuff. That I've looked it up, and there's some things like uh, fantasy trivia and sports trivia and things like that. But uh, yeah, I never owned any of those. But this is a computer I have a lot of memories of as a kid, especially traveling in the car with my family and we did a lot of the the trivia stuff on here which was fun to do in the car while traveling and I really liked this thing I loved the fact that it's very much like a full-size computer especially when it comes to the keyboard well I guess that's really the only part that's like a real computer since it only has this one um, single text line display here monochrome of course and uh, yeah, it doesn't really do a whole lot that a real computer could do. But as far as the keyboard goes, it's it's very much like a real computer keyboard, which is something I really liked. I remember owning a computer, a uh, newer one than this at some point, and I didn't like it as much because it had those rubbery, flexible keys instead of like a real keyboard like this one. And that's why I always liked this one better, even though I believe the, the later one I had actually did more I like this one better because it was felt more like a real computer. It made me feel like an adult with a real big computer. <laughs> but yeah, I really loved this thing. And uh, this is exactly what you'd get as a kid in, the, say, the late or 80s or early 90s. Uh, you, you didn't come out of the womb with a smartphone like a lot of kids today. Those spoiled brats. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> We're going to take a closer look at this and see the different applications on it and kind of show you what it's like. So let's do that. Okay, so here's a closer look at the computer itself. Uh, as you can see, here are the various applications. You have typing course, computer drill, general knowledge, history, geography, science, math, games, calculator, and cartridge. Now, I'll take a look around the actual computer itself. There isn't much to see, really, but uh, on the back here... There is a headphone port, and on the side you have the cartridge slot, which would add more applications to the thing. And on the back you have a compartment for six C batteries. <laughs> yes, it took six C batteries, uh, which I actually had to order because I had no C batteries. And uh, the contacts for the batteries were all rusted for some reason, so I had to clean those off. But after I did that, it successfully turned on. So. Let's power this thing up and uh, see what we got. I haven't heard that sound in a very long time. Well, when I replaced the batteries, I heard it. <laughs> but I have not played or used this thing for probably almost two decades, so yeah. <laughs> but anyway, let's take a look at the various applications on here. So we have typing course. Let's select that. All right, select a class one through nine. I believe that's difficulty or maybe they're just various, I don't know. Let's just go with one. All right, lesson one. All right, so I believe this is, uh, okay. All right, so it says the letters up here, A, S, D, F, J, K, L, and a semicolon or a colon. <laughs> I believe it's a semicolon. So I have to type in the missing letters, so A, S, or, okay, that's not working. <laughs> All right, oh, okay, I see. You have to select the letter that it shows on the screen. Got it. A, K, D, J, A, J, A, 
semicolon, which is somewhere right here. <laughs> one. All right, why is one? Not, oh, that's L. L not one. Okay, J S D S K S A K A J K A S A. <laughs> uh, that's a apostrophe. There we go. A S and another semicolon. A H D. All right, so you get the idea. <laughs> All right, well, it gives me a score here. The score is 31. I assume 31 is the amount of keys or amount of letters that I got correct. So it's kind of a timed thing, I think. You have to select as many letters as you can within the time limit. All right, so that's that. That's the typing course. So let's go to computer drill here. Uh, one example programs, two basic computer. Uh, select selection. Hmm, I don't even know what this is. I don't think I really knew what it was as a kid, so I never really played this much. Um, let me go with one. That's the example. Example programs. Select programs one through nine. Okay. I don't know what they are. Maybe it says in the manual for this. I don't know. Let's try three. Okay. It doesn't appear to say anything on the screen here. Okay, I can type letters. <laughs> um, I don't know what this is. <laughs> Error. <laughs> okay. You know, I don't know. Maybe that's some sort of programming thing? I don't know. Like I said, I don't have the manual for this, so I don't know exactly what that is. I might have to look it up. But maybe that is some sort of basic programming? I don't know. As a kid, like I said, I had no idea what that was, so I never really played it. But uh, it might actually be some sort of basic programming, which would be kind of cool. Anyway, let's move on to general knowledge, which is, as you might imagine, a general knowledge quiz. <laughs> Select level 1 through 4. Let's go with 1. Number of players, 1. All right. So here's our first question. What kind of factory did Will E. Wonka own? And that would be a chocolate factory. So I forget if this is multiple choice or if you have to actually type it in. Okay, you, you gotta type it in, okay. Chocolate. Actually, I probably just need chocolate. Yes, you are correct. Or you are right. <laughs> nice. All right. In what sport does or do you get a corner kick? I believe that would be football. There we go. Man, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are right. Alright, so we'll move on from this. Kind of get the idea of that. So let's go on to history, which is basically the same thing, I believe, except it's history questions. So like level 1 through 4. Level 1 is fine. Number of players, 1. Name the U.S. Space shuttle that exploded after la launch. Okay. Um, I actually might not know this one. <laughs> uh, yeah, space shuttle that exploded. The Challenger? I am correct. Nice. All right, yes, you are right, excellent. All right, let's move on. Go to geography. Select level one through four. Level one is fine. Number of players, one. Beirut is the capital of what 
middle eastern country uh beirut um okay i'm not very good at geography <laughs> uh yeah beirut i'm not really sure <laughs> i know it's completely wrong i'm gonna go with india <laughs> no try again okay i don't want to try again <laughs> because I have no idea what the answer is. All right, let's move on. Let's go to science. Science. Select level. Let's go to one. Number of players. One, please. Which planet is nearest the sun? Which planet is nearest the sun? Um, isn't that Venus? This is sort of in the realm of geography. <laughs> I'm not very good at it. Okay, I'm going to go with Venus. No, I am incorrect. Um, Venus. Mercury? I don't know. <laughs> hey, I got it. Nice. Yes, you are right. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Precomputer1000. All right, let's go with math. Now, math is not a quiz. Well, actually, it looks like they give you an option of math quiz. Fractions, uh, decimals, and mix calculator, and story problem. Mix selection. Let's do f story problem. Why not? Story problem. Select level one through four. OK, level one. Number of players, one. Okay, on digital scales, Peter weighs 77 pounds and Sam weighs 60 pounds. How many more does Peter weigh? Well, that would be 77 and 60, so that would be 17. Nice. I am so good at this. <laughs> you are right. Okay, so you get the idea of that. It is math problems. Let's go to games. I forget what this is. Typing fun. Hangman. Oh, yeah, Hangman I played a lot. Scramble. Not sure what that is. Maybe it's some sort of Scrabble? I don't know. <laughs> Let's go to Hangman, because I used to play that a lot. That was one of my favorite games on here. I completely forgot that was on here. Select level 1 through 4. Let's go with level 1. Number of players, 1. Alright, so... Alright, so we have 5 letters. And we have 9 tries, I believe, to get this. Let's try A. Okay, there's one A. Uh, S? Nope. E? Nope. P? Uh, I? Okay, so we got an I and an A. L? Um, G? H? Okay. Hi, uh, um, <laughs> R? Um, w? I'm not gonna get this, aren't I? R I? <laughs> Am I? Okay, that did not work. <laughs> oh, it was China. <laughs> Man, I'm not very good at this. I hope I was better as a kid. <laughs> Alright, so this is only a three-letter word. Let's go with A, E, I, O. Okay, S, maybe Sun? No. Um, uh, N, M, B, C. Oh, C, O. Um, B? No, because I already did B. Uh, cop? Um, koi? <laughs> Man, I can't even get a three-letter word. Cod. 
All right, I'm not going to humiliate myself with Hangman any longer. <laughs> all right. So there you go. That's pretty much all that's on here, except for calculator, which, I mean, kind of know what that is. <laughs> is there really any point in showing you what this is? One plus... All right, how do I do plus? Plus is not working. Or twelve. Okay, I don't even know how this works. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to put the symbols in. But anyway, yeah, that's a calculator. <laughs> it adds numbers. Adds, subtracts, multiplies, divides. It does all of that good stuff. So yeah, this is the Pre-Computer 1000 by VTech. Yeah, this is a computer I loved as a kid. I thought it was so cool to have a computer with a, with a really realistic keyboard. I mean, it is a real keyboard, technically. <laughs> but it, it felt much like a, a real computer, which I guess technically this is a real computer. It's just limited as to what it can do. But yeah, I just I thought this would be a cool thing to do a video on. I don't think there are too many videos on this on YouTube, and it's something, again, that I have a lot of nostalgia for as a kid. It's something I dug out just recently and thought, hey, it would be cool to do a video on this because it is tech, and it's retro tech, so it kind of goes with my channel, RetroShock. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this first look. It's not really a first look. Why am I saying first look? That's a series I have on my other channel, Dreamcastic channel. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this look at the Pre-Computer 1000. Let me know in the comments if you had this particular computer or if you had a similar one and if you have any memories of it. But anyway, guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.